today I'm in my garden because I don't know if you can see, but here are stripy mushrooms that I found, and that's why I'm going to do the video. It's going to be making. I'm going to be making my own mushroom. The stripy, which is really cool, and um, it's not just black and a kind of yellowy white. It's like grey and some brown. I don't know if you. Can I don't see. think you should touch fungi or mushrooms, just in case that it's poisonous. Because sometimes they can disguise themselves as non-poisonous mushrooms that um, are okay for you to eat, but some of them are poisonous. So I can't really tell with these because it's the first time I've ever seen mushrooms this cool. So I'm back inside and I don't know if you can see, but my mum drew these mushrooms, a small one here, a medium sized one here, and a big, and a big one here. And this decoration she drew a little snail. And I'm going to be um, redrawing the outline in this black. So it's more visible. So I've done the outline and I'm going to start by colouring in the smaller mushroom. So this one, the tiny one, is going to be a flame mushroom which just popped into my head for some reason. I'm going to be using these colours. Red, my red, my orange and my yellow. And I'm going to try and make it look like a flame. I'm pretty bad at flames but I'll just do my best. I think that looks a bit like a flame. The rest of the head, I call this bit a head. I don't know if it actually is called a head. For one of them, um, I think the big one, I'm going to make it like a house for a creature and the snail is visiting it, which will be really cool. I'm going to use some paint for the like stalk thing. I have no idea what it's called yet again. That's my flame mushroom, which I really like. Comment down below if you like it. I do. I'm just going to draw the door. I'm going to make it look like a door. Floor one, floor two, and floor three. And the head is just like going to be an attic. I'm going to do the big one. Fish. A fish mushroom. Draw the... I know how to draw a fish, but sometimes it can get hard. Comment down below if you draw fish like this. Kelp is wiggly on, on both sides. And then just draw some more cow over here. That looks like a pirate, I must admit it does. <laughs> pirate fish. Sounds a bit like parrot fish, but pirate. Have you ever heard of a parrot pirate fish? I've heard of a parrot fish, but never a pirate. my snail in the comment down below and for my fish my pick one of my fish how about this one can you name can you find a name for this fish and for the snail this pink is just so cool I even named it it is something other than pink just because of how cool it is it was really neon when I first used it, but now it's not really neon anymore. When it was neon, I had named it Neopira, because I, th I think that sounds really cool. The Neopira fish. You can't 
want to see the eyes, can you? Well, you can if you look close up, but you might not be able to see it close up. So I'm just going to, since you can't see the eyes, I'm just going to do like a white outline. Yeah, you can see him now. I think that looks really cool. That, this fish is looking up and down at the same time. That's weird. It's like being cross-eyed, except not being cross-eyed. Now all I have to do is quickly colour in this, but I'm not going to rush it too much because I want to make sure that I don't. Ugh, it's so hard. I'm going to do this really hard bits first because then I've got, got them over with. So I'm done finished. I've done um, the head but it's not called the head. I It's called the cap and the underneath the cap is the gills apparently. Like fish gills. Fishies. <laughs> this there's a bit underground, a bit like the roots, except it's called the mycelium. And then the stem, it's called the stem. Stem, stem. And I'm going to finish off by colouring the stem. But I won't be finished, because I need to do the jungle one. I'm going to do a half, like, quarter. No, what? I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going to do a bit dark green, a bit light green, and a bit light blue. And maybe a bit. No. Yes, and then I'll do the rest of it in dark blue. And I think the creature that lives in the mushroom, it will be a, like, a made up one. It's scaly. Like a fish, but, but it walks on land and swims in rivers. I'm not what I'm not sure what to call it, but it goes on land in the sea and it's got scales, but it also has legs. It's a bit like a basically a relative to the fish, but I'm not exactly sure what to call it. Comment down below what I should call the creature in this mushroom. And the snail doesn't live too far away, so it's visiting the creature for a cup of tea and some, maybe some cake, bug. But I'm not going to do the sky because it could just be a land of mushrooms. All that lives is mushrooms, creatures that live in the mushrooms, and a snail. Two trees inside a tree, and a third one came along. A fourth one on the side, which has very boxy roots. I'm just like telling the tale of the trees inside a tree, which is actually a mushroom. I don't know why. That, that's a very weird looking tree. That's better. I figured out that gr light green and dark green are two different colours. I'm drawing little flowers. This flower is like levitating. And I think I'm gonna do some upside down flowers. That'd be really cool. The first ever upside down flowers to live. Because flowers do live. Plants live, unless it's a dead plant. I'm 
underground mycelium, stem, stem, cap, um, gills. Gills? Yeah, gills. <laughs> I was confused for a second. I think it's gills or am I just mistaken? I would just got it wrong, but it's gills. Don't worry, it's not the video is not finished up. Because I have to do the ground. I'm gonna make it like really cool. These are the three colours of the ground in this mushroom world. They don't have a sky, the sky is white all day, all night, all year, no how. Every second, every minute, every hour, every day, every month, every week, every month, and every year, and every century. So I've done the floor. I made it, I started off by making it a pattern, but then I decided I'm going to change it up and make it cool. Instead of just using light green, orange, and dark green, like I said, I added a special piece of grass, I guess, but it's yellow. I hope you liked the ground because I liked it as well. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!